So we're here today with, with Scott Hine, who is one of the uh, original and founding members of our advisory uh, staff crew. We're very happy that you're here today to get fit into our new uh, Speed Rules uh, product family. And uh, I was hoping that you could just go through with us a little bit, tell us what you're up to these days, give us a little bit about your background. Sure. Well, Chris, thanks for having me in today. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, exciting new products, always nice to see. Um, yeah, my name is Scott Hine. I'm a PGA General Manager at Oakmont Country Club in Glendale, California. And I've been a part of the Matrix team for many years now, and uh, it's been a great partnership. We've done a lot of great things together, and uh, we're excited about the new Speed Rules line. Thanks, Scott. You have a really interesting and unique uh, nickname, and I wonder if you could tell us uh, what that is and where where did that come from? Well, uh, they they like to call me, uh, Scott, the Big Tuna, Hein, and uh, there's not really a great story behind it. Uh, one, unfortunately, one day years ago out in Arizona, a friend of mine called me the Big Tuna and said, I'll take the Big Tuna as, his, as my partner, and everybody else kind of laughed, and it's stuck ever since. So now it's on the golf bag and the golf balls and all my other stuff. So if I ever make it big, it, hopefully it'll be a good marketing tool. Including your shafts. Yes, and in my shafts. The, uh, so thank you for the nice custom logo on my shafts. Absolutely. We laser etch the big tuna onto every shaft that, uh, <laughs> that we have that we make for Scott. And Scott's been uh, with us, and as, as he mentioned, he's been you know an advisory board member of ours for, for many years. And uh, he's been custom fit into our shafts uh, so on several occasions. And this time, of course... As he mentioned, uh, we were fitting him into the correct speed rules profile. Scott, maybe you could uh, you could just describe uh, the, the fitting experience today and what you ended up uh, being fit into and uh, your thoughts. Well, it was actually very different than any fitting I've done before. Um, you know, typically in the past we'd have very different profiles that you know I could really tell right away. This one was too low. This one was too high. This one was perfect and. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it was actually a pretty easy process. This one was a little bit um, more personal because I think all three A, B, and C performed pretty well. The numbers on TrackMan looked pretty good. There was very slight difference in actual launch and spin and distance kind of numbers. Right. Uh, but the feel was very different. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially really blind fitting without knowing what A, B, or C is, I, you know, thought, I always thought I was an A-type personality, but it, apparently I'm not. Um <laughs> But, you know, some of them felt pretty good. I think A, to me, was a little softer. It helped square the club face a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I felt like I could hit it uh, the best maybe when I was just swinging real smooth mm -hmm. and went very straight. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a little softer for me at the bottom. And if I really tried to hit it hard, I, I kind of brought the left side into play. And traditionally, I like to fade the ball. Right. And I don't like that as much. Um, but I also think I could probably hit that one maybe the farthest if I, mm -hmm. if I really timed it perfectly. Sure. Um, you know, the B-type had a lot of, just a real different feel in the handle for me, which I think a lot of people who really want to feel the grip and swing the grip and the handle more are really going to enjoy that shaft. Mm -hmm. um, it performed nice for me. It's just different than kind of what I, what I think my feel is, sure. um, which is kind of hard to explain. But then when we got to the C-type, I think um, that for me was the best fit. It really felt stout and stiff throughout the entire swing, the transition, and all the way through. Um, for me, I don't like to feel a lot of load. I like to kind of feel like the club's away from me. I really don't need to feel the head too much. I just want to feel that consistent shaft feel all the way through. Mm -hmm. um, and it provided that for me. And I felt, to me, as if there was the shaft type that I could swing the f as hard as I wanted to on those times when you just want to just absolutely throttle one. I could do that with that shaft and I don't have to feel like it's going to go left um, and so I, I think I ended up with the C type uh, we did make one change uh, traditionally I've always played a 70 gram shaft I had the mm -hmm. 7M3 for the last several years yeah. and actually now we went uh, today went to the 60T uh, X which uh, I think um, just has the same profile but it's just a little bit lighter so maybe I'm just getting a little bit older <laughs> I need the speed well you still certainly uh generate a lot of club head speed in, in spite of your advanced age. <laughs> Thank um, you. But, uh, no, we really appreciate you, you coming out. Uh, as, as you did mention, uh, the, the Speed Rules family of, of products is a very different uh, 
uh, product line for us compared to the MFS line, which is, as you mentioned, basically fitting by, by launch and, and spin. Uh, with speed rules, what you saw today, um, which I think you very accurately described, is all three profiles, you're going to see fairly similar launch and spin conditions, but we're, we're trying to optimize speed through feel. So um, since we have you here, uh, and you know, you're know uh, you an accomplished, uh, not only just GM, but certainly uh, on, the, on the fitting side of things, and, and from a lesson perspective, you certainly know your stuff. Anything that you could maybe pass along to uh, to our listeners on this? Any uh, any other tips? I think uh, today, so much of it is just really getting into the right, you know, the right products. And yep. uh, there's so many new things out there, so much stuff going on. But um, whether it be head or whether it be shaft, you know, I think getting the right club fitting is so important. You know, I mean, I have a Absolutely. pretty good golf swing. I've played golf a long time. My ball kind of knows what to do. But it's amazing the difference, you know, from maybe coming in here six months or a year ago uh, with some products and then getting a new product, you know, you can't just grab a new one and it's going to work like the old one. Um, it was amazing today. I was trying the new Nike uh, heads, two, two different tour heads that they had for, for me here, and uh, both of them were totally kind of different shafts and profiles than in the shafts I played in the previous version. Yeah. So I think it's really important that you spend the time because, you know, especially with golf, none of these clubs are, you know, cheap. Um, you're yeah. making a pretty good investment, so you might as well optimize, you know, your launch as well as your speed, um, you know, when you're fitting. So I think this new type of fitting with, with feel and, and speed is, is really going to be the, the wave. And, uh, you know, I, we started uh, with my old driver, to my, which I was pretty happy with. I've been playing pretty well. And, you know, by the end of it, we were picking up a good 10 to 12 yards uh, with the new head and the new shaft from where I was. So always good to get older and keeping it further. That's great. Scott, thanks so much. We really appreciate your, uh, your you know, you being such a great partner for us over the years. And we certainly look forward to that uh, to continuing uh, for many years to come. Well, thanks, Chris. Have a great day. Thanks, you too.